you know, competition for good things, you know. But like to stay hungry, like my first fight on HBO, I was just happy we finally made it to HBO. But Ben Getty always said that it's about impressing the networks, you know what I mean? And it's about creating knockouts on the big networks and on the big stage, you know what I mean? That's why this next fight, you know, when we go in for that KO, and we're gonna dedicate it to Ben Getty because he's the one who taught me how to throw these punches from the get, and he's the one who believed in me from the start, you know what I mean? I got a, I got a nice surprise for everybody. My come out, my come out song is, is, is dedicated to Ben Getty, you know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be something real, it's gonna be something real special for, for him, for me, for my, for my team, and, and for everybody that's in attendance and everybody who's viewing, man. You know, um, you know it's, it's, it's a, I can't wait for that. Like, I don't know, I just try to stay humble, man. Like I said, the when I see my face on a banner and stuff, I'm just like, you, you made it, dog. Like, like, I look up and I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, you know. Ropes at the Alaka Pavilion the other day. I know, man. right? Just you the know? other day, we're looking at this guy like, yo, this guy's gonna be the truth. Oh, he's I know, He's gonna be right? the truth. This kid right here, that was right? a treat for everybody he, to see He's gonna be out. the truth. That's how it was. That's and, but that's what I'm saying. Like we yes. knew, we knew from day one uh -huh. that I was, I'm here for the big stuff. You know, and and the real reason behind that is because I was an elite amateur. Mm -hmm. Correct. You know, I was an elite amateur, so I knew that I would be an elite pro, right? And I told myself when I was walking out of the ring of the U.S. Olympic Trials, and I had a silver medal being defeated by Demetrius Andrade, I said, "You." Our number two. Worst case scenario, you're gonna turn pro. You're gonna make your way up through the rankings. You're gonna fight the number one fighter in the world again. And you're gonna find out you're number two. Okay. The number two fighter in the world has a career for himself. Right. How can you not be happy with having a career right. in a sport that you love? Right. That's why I say I gotta, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. Right. Act like I've never been beat before in boxing. Like, I don't know what it is to lose a fight. You know what I mean? But I'm not ever trying to lose. Correct. I'm not giving you a victory. Right. You have to earn that victory when you step in the ring with me. Right. And that's why I say if you can beat me, beat me, because when you beat me, you deserve that. Okay. 100, you deserve that. Because you just fought a warrior. You fought a kid that 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 cares about the outcome and gives it his all. When when I fought with a hematoma, I kept my composure. I kept my composure. I block it out of my head. You know what I'm saying? When 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 I got caught with that body shot, I didn't go down. You know, I endured the pain. I'm a true fighter, I'm a true warrior, man. Through and through, you know? It's not about winning every single round of every single fight, but it is about doing your best to win every single fight, you know? So you gotta win the majority of the rounds. And I proved that against Sean Porter. Set three judges, all three, seven for me, five for him. Was he in the fight? Of course he was in the fight. He won five rounds. One more round would have made it a draw. Another round would have made it his victory. He was in the fight, but he did not win that night. Right. Not, not a split, uh -huh. not a majority decision. There wasn't one draw on the scorecards. It was right. unanimous. Right. Seven for me, five for him. Right. And what, what people forget about the sport of boxing, because uh -huh. boxing is a sport, what they forget about the sport of boxing is how the numbers add up, right? Exactly. So, when you do not win by a knockdown or a knockout, you have to look at the scorecard, and the scorecard is based on a point system. If there is a knockdown within the fight, that affects right. the point system. Right. Everybody knows it becomes a 10-8 round. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And you got to take those points into consideration when going to the final scorecard and creating that final decision. That's why Timothy Bradley had a tremendous performance up against Panovikov who knocked him down several times in the match, Correct. but those were Panofikov's best rounds. Um, Bradley came back and won the majority rounds to march it out and be victorious that night, you know? And, and, and that's what makes boxing such a beautiful sport is 
enduring when you have to, when the fight doesn't end um, in, a, in a KO, TKO fashion, the way that these fighters endure the longevity of the match and the, and the brutality of it, and then at the end of the day, who was superior on that night? You know, March 4th is gonna be a tremendous fight. I'm going up against a great athlete, and I look forward to it, man. This is my livelihood, this is my job, and this is my passion. That's why I'm a winner at all times at this stage, man. You know what I'm saying? I have a fan base. I got people that love me, who respect me, and always will because they understand what I bring to the fight game. And, and I'm always gonna be that same kind of fighter, man. You know, and I'm looking forward to continuously building my legacy. And March 4th, there's only one man that's in front of me. Only one man. We take care of these fights one man at a time. Danny Garcia, you know, I hope he's ready. Drop my